Hey, quick question for you. With current rising electricity prices, have you wondered whether or not you could take your workshop off grid? Hi everyone, Ainsley here from Small Fry Creations where we tackle everything DIY. And today I'm testing whether or not I can take the workshop off grid. I'm gonna build a super simple beginner friendly woodworking project, which is a portable picnic table, perfect for those summer weekends coming up. Or if you're looking for a last minute gift idea, this just might be the solution for you. I'm gonna power all of my tools with the EcoFlow Delta Max 2000 portable power station. A big thank you to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. Now for your picnic table, I'm going to be using two sticks of timber from Bunnings. I've got some oak and some Maranti that is 65 mil in width. And while I start to cut it to length and glue it into panels, let me tell you about the features of the Delta Max 2000. The Delta Max 2000 is packed full of features. Up front, I've got USB-A, USB fast charge and USB-C charge ports as well as an LED screen so that I can monitor the input and the output, as well as how much charge is left and how long I can power whatever I have plugged into it. On the other side, I've got four outlets where I can directly plug in my appliances, devices or tools. And with 216 kilowatt hours, I'm gonna be powering my stuff for quite some time. Now, when it comes to recharge, I'm trying to be greener, so I'm going to use solar panels and it's going to take me around about six hours. But you can use house power and in 65 minutes, you'll be back at 80% or you can use the car, which is gonna be perfect for road trips. And it also has an app so that I can monitor the power station and turn off certain sections when it's not in use. If your workshop is in a place where it's hard to get power to, EcoFlow might just have the solution for you. But not only is it going to be helpful in the workshop, it's also gonna be helpful in just day-to-day -day life. Here in Australia, I feel like we are on back-to-back -back natural disasters and losing power is a real possibility. So having the portable power station on hand to power some of my critical appliances is going to be really helpful. Now, if you're looking to get one or you wanna do some more research, I will leave links in the description box below. And if you're watching this video before the end of November, 2022, you're in luck because EcoFlow are running Black Friday sales. For the first half of November, you can pick yourself up a deal on the river, the Delta, solar panels, or the solar generator bundles. And if you're after a unit with bigger capacity like I have here, which is the Delta Max 2000, then stay tuned for the second half of the month where the Black Friday sales really kick off and you can pick up yourself a great price on a larger unit. But in the meantime, let's get back to the build. My panel is out of glue up, which is going to be the top of the picnic table and I need to cut it to width so that it can go through the thickness. Are. The top is going to be 600 long by 300 wide and I'm currently at 330. I was going to use the saw stop to cut it to width and while this has been gluing up, I've been using the EcoFlow and testing all of the tools and in hindsight, I should have been filming it because the EcoFlow won't actually power the saw stop and the dust collector. It is just too much of a surge on startup and the EcoFlow can't handle it and I actually ended up tripping the safety brake on the saw stop. Here's a bit of a bummer because I was really hoping that it was going to be able to power all of the tools, but it is something to note as it is a limitation if you're looking at getting one. I'm going to switch gears and use the track saw to cut it to width and then we can move over to the thickness up.
My tabletop is all smooth and it is cut to its final dimensions. But before I add legs, I want to add some functionality to the picnic table. There's a couple of things I'm going to do to the top. The first one is cut a shallow juice groove all the way around because if I'm out on a picnic, I'm probably going to be on uneven ground and hopefully the juice groove will stop things from rolling off the table. I've got my juice groove jig set up. It's super easy, can be set up in under a minute. And if you're interested in making yourself one, I will link a video above where I'm making cutting boards and showing you how you can move from beginner to more pro. I've got the Triton router set up with the core box bit. I'm going to plug it into the EcoFlow and then cut some juice grooves. The juice groove is cut into the tabletop and it looks really good. The next feature I want to add are some cutouts for wine glasses. But before I do that, I'm going to hit pause on the top and move to the legs. My brain is just not great at working out measurements and angles and I want to make sure that the legs work with the tabletop because I need them to fold in on each other before I start cutting into the board just in case I have to move the placement for the wine glasses. Now in terms of material, I was going to use off cuts from the tabletop and cut strips on the table saw but because the EcoFlow can't power the table saw. I've switched directions and I'm going to use this 40mm Moranti that I can cut on the miter saw. Now the angle of the legs is going to be splayed out at 22 and a half degrees. There is absolutely no science in that number. It's a positive stop on the miter saw. I've measured some tables that I have inside. It's a measurement that looks good and I think that's going to work so that's what I'm going to run with. I'm going to get all of the pieces cut, dry fit onto the board and then once I know everything is working we can continue to add features to the top. is almost complete. I've got the cutout for the wine glasses done and everything is sanded up to 240 grit. 
And the last thing I'm going to add before I apply finish is a graphic with the laser. Of course, this is totally optional, but there's a couple of reasons why I want to do it. Number one, one of the greatest advantages of making things yourself is you get to customize them just the way you want them. It's also going to be a really great test for the EcoFlow portable power station as I'm powering the laptop and the laser, and the laser's going to be running for around about an hour. And one of the best advantages of the portable power station is that I can move the laser all that much closer because before I was tethered to an extension cord, which means I am closer to the door, blowing out the fumes, making it that a little bit safer. Now the graphic I'm going to be using is a saying we have in our family called this is really living and picnicking is one of my favorite things to do and really is when I feel like I'm living my best life. So I'm gonna go ahead, line up the laser, get it fired up and going and then we're almost on the home stretch and applying finish. My portable picnic table is finished and I'm really happy with how it has turned out. It's a simple project but I think it is going to be really handy. I've installed these magnets so that my legs are now secured and although I used a hardwood it's light so really really portable. I'm excited to take it for a spin. I will let you in on a secret though. I installed the magnets flush with the surface but I just wasn't getting 100% contact. So to fix the problem I've installed a second magnet on the underside and that has now given it full contact and those legs aren't going anywhere. Now in terms of finish, I was debating whether or not I would use my trusty CFP flooring or I would go with a food safe. I ended up going with food safe because I envision using this as a cheese board out on a picnic with the family so that makes sense. Now to wrap up this video for the EcoFlow, I have been building for about two days. I started at 70% and I'm down to I think 44%, so not too bad. I am bummed that I can't use it on the table saw and the dust collector because it means that I can't take my workshop entirely off grid. But I'm still really impressed with the product. I still really like it and I would definitely recommend it. For me, I can power half the workshop and it's gonna be really handy for things like the laser, being able to move it closer to the door easily. And if I'm spraying a project outside, I don't have to worry about dragging extension cords outside. I can power it all off the EcoFlow. And to be honest, it's also just gonna be handy in day-to-day -day life. They have a bunch of different sizes, power ranges, something to suit everyone's needs. So if you're interested in getting one or doing some more research, be sure to check out the link below. And in the meantime, I hope you have liked this project. If you have, help me out by hitting those subscribe and like buttons or watch one of the videos that are about to pop up on your screen and I'll see you on the next one.